Welcome back to Iritus Lord of the Dead, folks. We are starting a new run because we could not beat the boss at level one in the last one. Despite my so, millennia of imprisonment, I am a rather impatient necromancer. We'll get going, don't worry. So, I'm going to make my own initial squad, my own starting squad. And for artifacts, we have... 10% chance to find a consumable after Finally, battle. Finally, this item bad. finds its way Unlocks. into my capable hands. And Ring of Purity unlocks a secret ire spell. Devour magic. Removes all the buffs from the chosen minion. Restores six mana for each buff removed. We don't have anything now else, so we might as well put it on. mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Okay. That sounds good. So let's have a look at what we want to do here. I think I want to try and focus on a stress build. So the shade is pretty good at stress, right? So all it's, that's a stance, all successful attacks against your minions cause the attacker to take stress damage equal to 100% of the damage dealt. That's not bad, but it's not really one we want because we don't want them to do damage to us uh, so the shade and the target no it just gains 15 mana that's not bad if we go for a lot of magic uh, debuff the target loses 20 accuracy and nah, magic attack nah. deals damage equal to 60% of the sanity that the target is missing nah and trap summons cloud of darkness at target position for two turns any target that moves into the cloud receives magical damage so the shade is not that interesting so lost soul is i know that for a fact because she deals 80 percent uh, stress damage or red damage to the target and an enemy standing behind it that's pretty good and then we have the support restores 100% 18 to 22 bigger to a target ally. But she will next turn attack that ally for the same amount of damage. But at the end uh, of a battle that could actually be really useful. And then we have a magic attack that deals 125% 22 to 28 damage. Okay, and the target deals 15% more damage until the battle ends. So well, that's not that interesting. It's not uh, stress damage. So here we have stress attack deals 40% 7 to 8 damage. Target gains plus 1 initiative until the battle ends, but it hits everyone. And then we have the buff. The target gains plus 2 ward, but deals 25% less damage for their next 2 actions. So that's on don't know if that's on our minion or our own minions uh, I guess it is because there is no enemies in the lineup there so that's to our own minions so plus two wards but 25 percent less damage and then buff removes all buffs and debuffs from enemies and the lost souls allies gain plus one damage until the battle ends for each buff or debuff removed this way that's pretty nice I think we're going to go with a lost soul, maybe? You have the maybe. honor of receiving my personal touch. Lich is definitely interesting because of the toxic cloud, so we're going to make one of those. Ooh, a vessel of indiscriminate magical carnage. Two or three. I think I'd prefer three. And we have the Banshee which moves the target to a random position with this one. So that's something that we want with his cloud. And then with this one, all enemies lose four attack, plus they take stress damage. And she can buff everyone to do more stress damage. And she has this stance, which will do stress damage whenever an enemy moves. So, yeah, we want her, I think. Come, dear. It's time for your We want her in the back. And we have two left, 
and I think that's going to be a Wraith and a Dark Knight. So we have, where is it? This one, all opponents randomly swap position. That does require that we have Wrath though, but still does decent stress damage there and it removes buffs and it uh, makes them lose evasion. We have this curse, which does very nice stress damage. He can buff himself with uh, plus six dread and summon a concealing cloud. And this will work in. Hmm. He needs to be in position three, but that's okay. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my like putrefied? And then gut. we'll do a dark knight both for his stance and for the hollow stair. And he can also heal himself. Oh, let's do that. Inspiring leader. So that's gonna be our battle squad. For the armies of undead. At least for now. Okay, so if we take a look at the graveyard, I think I want to get excavation going as soon as possible. But I also want the library going as soon as possible. So I think we're going to start with the library, get Iritus some experience. The world is as hollow as and his we need armor. something. We'll do a skeleton. Bones, bones, bones. Just so which we can then use later to you know. build the excavation thing. Well, that's plus 35 experience after each battle for your just That's pretty good. Now, over here on the talents, I'm not really sure what I want to go. I, I mean, this could be pretty good. And plus two initiative for two actions is very good as well. Restore mana after every fight is pretty good. Yeah, that's very nice as well. As soon as he has 25 mana, our minions get plus two initiative for one turn. That's very, very nice. Destruction could be pretty good as well. That could be pretty good as well. But I think the ire here would be more useful, at least for now. At the start of its turn, a minion gains plus six dread for one turn if Iritus has at least 50 wrath. That's very nice as well for what we're going for. And then the relentless evil, which is also really good. But I do think we're going to have to start over here with the alchemy. And I think we're going to start by getting some more parts. Through transformation. And then the we're going to we're free. going to focus alchemy a little bit in the beginning to get more parts and lost soul or architect souls and stuff like that. And then we'll move over to Ire and get that going. So I think that is everything done for now. And so let's jump in here and have a look. So we have healing to both sides, or we can go straight and then we have healing up there. So, let's see, I mean, it looks like it's the longest way to the right, so I think I want to go to the right. Yeah. And if we can get two of these deli or steels or whatever they're called, that wouldn't be bad. And here there's a heal pretty close to the boss encounter. I think we're gonna go this way. And we're going to have to go through the elite squad if we want to. Get two of these things. And I suppose we can do that. So, yeah. 
Let's see, do we wanna, I think we'll go this way up. Or do we wanna go this way up? We have less battles going this way. One less. But we do get the artifacts, but here we get a quest. I think we'll go this way up, straight up. But first, we need to take care of the first guys. There are only three of them, but they do have the potential to do a crap ton of damage if they get into stances. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put a toxic cloud down. We're going to put it here in the middle. Okay. Target to a random position. Hmm. We're going to take you, and move you. Why didn't he move? Why did he not move? Okay. see I think we'll go with this one and both will stress you out some more. Alright, he went insane. So betrayal, that's good. And then you can do a hollow stare, I think. And then... Ooh, 43 damage? Ow! That doesn't seem fair at all. Hmm. Let's see. I have 54 now. So she can go into her stance. You can put down another toxic cloud. He went insane. Another betrayal. And then he can make all the enemies randomly swap position. Oh, she missed both of them. Damn it. Hmm. Okay. And you can try and stress him out a bit more, see if we can kill him. No, we cannot. So we can hit. He betrays. Very good. He escaped. Okay. We'll go into the stance again. You do stress damage to him and miss. Crap. And you put down a cloud here. Okay. And you make them swap positions. <laughs> you cries nice. a music to me. He's dead, he's dead. Good. Or Lich <laughs> did take a crap ton of damage though, which is not good. We did get a brain, very nice. And a Philosopher's Stone, I don't remember what that does, we'll have to take a look. And a couple of armors and some other stuff, and some architect souls. Okay. And 35 experience for Iratus or Iratus. Right, let's have a look at the artifact. Guarantees that an artifact will appear as part of victory rewards. One time use. We'll ah, use that. Fetching. Okay. I think we're going to have to make a replacement lich. So let's do that. Hmm. I just can't and tell think... where they get their uncaring attitude from. Hmm. I think I'll give him the brain. And... Let's see. Creates a cloud. So an enemy in the cloud loses all armor and resistance. And an enemy poisoned by the cloud has 5% chance to die immediately. 
we're going to grab that. Serve me well, my minion. Then we are going to grab. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I think we're going to grab one of the buffs. So do we want plus two initiative or do we want plus two attack and dread? I think we want plus two initiative. My enemies are that. in for a nasty surprise. Okay. So that lich comes into the squad, the other one goes into healing, and that's fine. Alright, that is all we need to do right now. We don't have any talent points. So let's keep going and we'll go up through this way and get the quest and we'll have an elite battle which I'm not particularly fond of but it is what it is. Right, despite one, what mine one, blah, let's try that again. Despite what one might think, undead make better use of weapons than humans. Sure, they are very capable of killing by simply using their supernatural strength, but when you combine that strength with the correct tool, you can truly get truly spectacular results. Unlike lesser necromancers, you take particular interest in prospects of gaining human weapons. So when you hear of a cart delivering swords and spears to the guard traveling along this route, it seems too good an opportunity to waste. We're gonna ambush the cart. <laughs> Don't like those traps. They... We are going to... I think we're going to buff. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. It's too good. Okay. Now he has already gone this turn, so we're not gonna get much out of Utah's hopes, I don't think. Or are we? Because he's probably going to go again, right? So let, let's do the stance and see what that does. We do have an elite guard here so that's not great okay you are going to go into your stance and you are going to put down a cloud on the taskmaster here all right Stressed him out that pulled him into the cloud. Very nice. We're going to put in a, down another cloud there. Your frail bodies oh, fail you. He went insane. Betrayal. Very good. Ow. <coughs> Gonna need another wraith next time, it seems. Uh, let's go back into the stance. You go into the stance. And you make everyone start position randomly. Pull them through the clouds. Make her get off her screen. Okay. So we don't actually go through the cloud, it seems, when they swap positions. Which kind of sucks. We are doing a lot of stress damage though. He's already all the way down. And the new cloud there. The fraction right. of my power. The insanity is here. You go back into your stance. Now, again. We're gonna have to abyssal on the here. How? Our brain that used is to dead. be one of you. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. He betrayed himself or uh, his dudes. Well, that's good. Let's put down a new cloud here. OK, 
Okay, you went into our front. Very good. <laughs> nice. This never Cloud killed him. He died of a heart attack. Very good. Alright, so we're down to two. We're going to do this. Move him. Now that's gonna leave a mark. That killed him. Okay. You can hollow stare. Seven damage. Put down another cloud. Okay. Let's stress you out some more. And stress you out some more. He's not dead yet. Oh. I wasn't too bad. But you know what? Let's summon a skeleton. And hope that he doesn't die before it's his turn. It's the Lich's turn again. So you know what? You go into stance. And you... Let's just... You know what? You wait. Oh, it's the end of the turn, so you're going to have to play. Okay, but he didn't die. Now it's the Lich's turn. And we'll kill our summoned skeleton. I suppose I can craft a few. To get everyone up to full health. You stress him out. You stress him out. Go on, die, dude. How hard is that already? And play cloud. That hopefully does it. Yes, it does. Okay. So this world. So we lost our wraith. I don't like that. I don't like that. Got some smoking bands. I don't remember what they do. We'll have to take a look. But the rest of the squad is in pretty good mental health. So that's good. And we got symbol of fortune and some parts okay let's see each time Eritus uses a spell a random enemy is dealt 10 stress damage okay that's actually better than the ring right now isn't it yeah now i will make mortals tremble I don't like before me uh, this thing well even more fortune. than previously i mean plus 25 lock is fantastic but minus 25 accuracy is sucks Okay, so our Banshee is now level 2, and our Dark Knight is level 2, so let's see, we are using our stats the most, and then it ignores Ward, and it's still 60%, still 60% here, but the Banshee gains one block and one wall, and one ward while in the stance. Hmm. Get We're going to ignore war. Battle. We're going to ignore war. The Dark Knight. I think we want to give him some uh, resistance. He is front line, so we want to give him armor and resistance. I think. But we are using the stance, so sixty percent, seven to eight damage, but we get one resistance, eighty percent, and we're getting three dread. I know I said I want, wanted to get resistance, but I think I'm going to go with the Dread here, both for the extra damage from the stance and also for extra damage from everything else. Now, I'm going to do that. Prove yourself worthy okay. of my investment. We have a talent point. So I think we are going to go with... This one and then go down to the brain 
The formulae reveal their secrets. Okay, so we need to create something that we can use here. I suppose we could use a bride instead of the shade. Or we could use another lich. We do have another lich already. But uh, it was a quest thing. We could actually use another lich to open this up and get another unit in here gaining Iritus experience. That might not be bad. Hmm. Well, I'm going to make a bride. Yeah. Beats only for me. I crafted it. And that she way. is fine in that spot. Yeah. And the lich is fine in that spot as well. So that's gonna work. Do I want to use the grain I got on the bride? I don't think so. Don't think so. Can we create a lich? Yes, we can. Let's create one. Might I use this one sparingly? And then I think I'll create I a zombie. For my minions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the zombie I can use in the next excavation, I think. So let's put this lich in here. Oh, I don't have enough souls, so that's not relevant right now. It will be later though. All right, let's go to battle these guys. Okay. You oh, ow! Stop that. Jesus, stop attacking my lich. We're going to go into stance. You are going to stress out. Will overflow. Moves him and she attacks him. Very nice. Okay. These guys don't really get buffs, so you're just gonna have to hollow stare. Alright. He is insane, so that's good. Going to put the cloud there. Alright, that takes away all of his sanity. Jesus Christ! Stop attacking my lich! You're going back into your stance. You are going to push. And Your cries are goes into music to me. Cloud as well. You put down another cloud. Oh. Alright. And you almost there. Alright. Oh. Just don't attack my lich. Alright, very nice. Couple of moves there. And we will push you. Okay. Stop it! He's gone. Favorite. Damn it! They just focus down that bitch completely. Okay, this is going to have to do this. And you can do this. Now, healed up. Decay, corruption. He died. He died. Very good. He's going to take stress damage from that. He moved into the cloud. Why did he not take stress damage from that? 
Alright, you missed. Dang it. Perish. Okay. He wants to escape. That's okay by me. Escaped. I shot him. He's insane. And you. Oh, no kill. Follow, stay at kill. Yes. But we lost the lich. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. This really sucks. We got some better blood. Another brain, though. That's good. And our other Lich healed up. We can pull him out and back into the battle squad here. He's only level 1 though, but we can get him up to level 3 with a brain. But do I want to do that? Suppose I do. Right, right. We're going to get this done. Break that. Get the zombie in there. So that's 70 experience for Ir Iratus every time we win a battle. We didn't get any artifacts. Nope. We do need to create, if we can. We could create another leech. We'll wait until we actually need something. We do. We could do with a banshee. Let's make a banshee. You will learn to enjoy and your wretched stick existence. her in the party and stick you in here and heal. Okay, that'll work. We do have a talent point, but I think I want to save up and get. This or this. Maybe we should start going down the iron iron tree now. Hmm. This is so good. What, we're going to Rivers grab this. Will run red. But we get more initiative if Eratus has more than 25 breath. Okay, so we have a level 2 and a level 3 brain. I think we're going to give the level 3 brain to the Banshee. Yeah. Here you go. And. Doors Ward. Banshee gains one block and one ward while in the stance. We're going I to ignore ward. Expect results. And here we could go with more accuracy. Target loses eight evasion for three turns. That's not half bad. Removes all buffs from the target. Not half bad either. We're going oh, to remove all buffs and get a little bit more dread for us. Surprise. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, we have the fountain now. So let's do this and just move in and get everyone healed up completely. Because we haven't used any mana, so let's do that. And that actually means that we have a Banshee to spare. But the Bride isn't half bad either with this. 
But this one does move it as well. And this one pushes it back one. I want her to interrupt stances. When she gets that. I think I'll uh, I'll go with this team. Actually, I do have the level 2 brain. So let's give that to her. And get interrupt stances. Serve me well, my minion. Okay. And we'll go to battle against these guys. But that is going to be in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.